my old nemesis, stairs. <laughs> This is Willow Camp Trail. That is a lot of clouds. Citro Tower way out there if you can see it. Holy moly. Just got to the bottom of the Dipsy and Muir Woods. I am totally wiped right now. And I am exactly where I want to be. Just in a ton of pain. I prefer not hiking all the way up this hill, but there's 800 feet between me and my final descent, which is mostly on pavement, which will hurt. But I've got Miley Cyrus going, which means Lady Gaga is probably next in the playlist. I've got plenty of water. I've got goose if I need it. So the band marches on. We will get to the top one step at a time, one punch at a time, one round at a time. One step at a time, one punch at a time, one round at a time. My old nemesis, stairs. <sighs> nice job. Thank you, you too. Oh man, I'm totally bonked. <sighs> one step at a time, one punch at a time, one round at a time. I honestly can't remember last time I felt like this. And it is amazing to embrace and just try to deal with. And I wanna make sure I document how hard this training is. This is gonna be a really, really tough week, folks. Whew. Woo! That was not an easy day. I am toasted right now. Things you wanna avoid and what I did, I failed to do today. Number one, try to get a good night of sleep. Be aware when you don't have a good night of sleep and adjust your plan accordingly. Two, be careful how much coffee you have. Uh, the caffeine alone probably messed up my, my system a little bit, but it was also fairly hot out there, so it meant uh, dehydration pretty quickly. Three, if you're doing a big effort, eat a big breakfast. And four is keep on top of your hydration. I kind of avoided drinking for the first 10 miles or so, and I think that caught up to me pretty quickly in the second half of the run. And five, you know, you gotta pace yourself. I, had some really big climbs today. I went kind of aggressively, even though I was hiking those. And uh, you gotta say something for the second half. And finally, check your shoes before you run. I uh, just didn't realize it last run, but these shoes are absolutely toast and had no support left and probably should have just turned around after a mile and, and changed them out. I think that covers most of the bonk. It was brutal. And uh, we'll save the, the good stuff for for a little bit later once I've had some pancakes and feel a little bit better about myself. So, I wanted to follow up with uh, my tips for how to get out of the bonk or handle it once you've entered it. Number one, have an extra pair of shoes. Make sure your crew brings shoes. Have a drop bag with shoes in it. If your feet are sore and aren't feeling it, you'll have something to switch out into something new. Uh, number two, this is probably the first thing you should be doing. Eat and drink a lot. Stuff your face. But also know that it probably will take 15 to 30 minutes before that food will actually have an impact on the way you feel. Three, I think, is a, is a pretty simple one. Take it easy. All right, you're in the middle of a climb. You start feeling like crap. Take a couple minutes to recover. You still have flats and downhills to do. And if you still feel good on those, you might as well relax on those ups and really hammer the descents. Ah, now, let's see this list. Do we have anything else remaining? Dip your legs in the water. If you can get ice, stuff it in every single uh, orifice that you have available to you. Having a high body temperature will affect digestion, it will affect the way your head feels, um, and your legs are gonna be throbbing by the middle of the race, so anything you can do to cool those guys off will make a difference. Uh, and then the last thing is just relax. If you watch the end of a Olympic 5K or 10K, those guys coming down the home stretch are not gritting their teeth and, and look like they're in pain. I know you're in pain, but try not to show it on your face and relax. I am extremely nervous, especially after the way today felt about the potential to bonk during the race. I hope I listen to my own advice uh, come race time. I'm not an expert here. I've only done one 100 miler in my life. I'm just the loudest voice in the room right now that's actually recording myself pretending to, to know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna have a great afternoon. 
I hope you guys are too. Oh, I